Hey, Brandon, how you doing? All right, I've got your work up. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so good job setting up your document. Looks like you're 15 by 20 with one inch between. Check those. Those might be a little wider than an inch. You, you might want to check those. I'm not saying they are. I'm saying they, they just kind of appear to be. Um, I haven't checked myself, but but you definitely want to. You know what? Let's take a quick look at this setup right up here. Actually, yeah, you are looking pretty good. Yeah, that does look like it's it's one inch. So check to make sure, but that looks pretty good. Good setup. Let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look. Okay, so in the first design, we're looking for um, uh, we're looking for no contrast in, in size or weight. So all hierarchy is based on grouping. But the first thing I want to mention here is that if you take back go back to, to week two lectures and take a look at some of the those lectures regarding expressive typefaces. And I think that right now this typeface you're using is 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 doesn't have a whole lot of personality. It doesn't have a, a very much expressiveness. This is a mono um, a monospace typeface that's made to it's it's designed to resemble old typewriter typefaces. And as we know, typewriter um, had zero personality pretty much. So I think that you could by choosing a different, more expressive typeface, I think you'll add a lot of visual engagement to all four layouts. Okay, as far as the first layout goes, we're saying that there's no contrasts in size or weight. All hierarchy is based on grouping. What right now there there basically is just one group, so there's no hierarchy here in, at all. Um, so in other words, the way this is compiled is that this wheelbase 108.1 is just as important to this layout as 1969 uh, Pontiac Firebird. I shouldn't say that's not altogether true. Uh, Pontiac Firebird has a little bit more visual emphasis because it's at the top of the list. But what you can do here is you can create hierarchy simply by grouping. So what I would do here is I would just take this space right here between 1969 Firebird and the rest and just increase that space a little bit. What that's going to do is it's going to group these five things together. And then it's going to separate that. So what you're saying to the viewer is, okay, this is the car and this is the features associated with the car. Also, I'm, I'm right now, I think that you're really, really too, way too close to the edge of the page. In any uh, visual composition, you want enough breathing room. It's called a margin. And you want enough of a margin to, to make it appear not so visually uncomfortable and to have the type re creeping right on the edge of the page. So I would recommend that you adjust your grid to add a little bit more uh, padding there for the margins. Okay, in the second design, we're, we're looking at one new size and one new weight. And you got it. You got it. You got your new weight there and your new size there. So that, again, is pointing. That's good right there. Again, though, I, I definitely think that we, we could use different uh, typeface here. Um, Okay, in the third layout, we want multiple contrasts in weight and scale. And you've, you've done that here, um, but what you've done here, but I think that by decreasing the size down, going down the line here, so you're introducing multiple weights. Um, I'm sorry, you're introducing multiple scale, but there's only one new weight. This is saying it, it's, it's asking for multiple contrasts in weight and scale. So right now, as I said, You've got multiple weights as these are reducing in size, but you only got one, I'm sorry, multiple scale. These are reducing in size and only one new weight. So you want multiple weight, multiple scale. An example of that is right here. And this is over in the announcement area. Welcome to week three announcement area. Um, okay, now the fourth design is, again, we, we, we don't have multiple weights here you, you've introduced you've got one new size and one new weight so again this is not multiple this is the same weight as this it seems um so you you definitely want to introduce multiple size mul multiple scale multiple weight here now don't forget this assignment is is required to be submitted in grayscale that's black and white and uh so you and, and you want to crop this so you definitely want to, to put this in presentation format so the edge of the page uh there's nothing hanging off the edge of the page. That's actually cropped and bleeding off the page. Now, don't forget to convert that to grayscale and watch your selections there. As we can see, as we zoom in, your selections are pretty shaky. They're not smooth. We can see a lot of little bumps in the roof here, in the tires especially, little jagged lines at the bottom of the car. So you wanna definitely watch your cropping uh, technique there. 
Okay. All right. So those are my recommendations moving forward. Now, we've got a couple of really great resources for you to look at. The first one is in the, the classroom. It's in the lecture, in this lecture, week three presentation structure and space. And if you come down right here, you can see this, this, right, this lecture, right, this, this area right here, and then structure alignments and grids, you definitely want to review that. This is right out of the book. I've got version six of the textbook, um, edition six. It's on page 101. So I believe you have edition seven for the book. So you want to check. And you're, what you're looking for is this modern Hispanic poetry um, examples. There's nine of them in the book, and there's only six here. So you definitely want to take a look at that book for, to see that, that whole progression. This is, a, a one, this is exactly how you do this assignment, exactly. So you want to follow your, your lead here. And then also there's another wonderful... Uh, presentation and this one is in the course announcements welcome to week three if you come about halfway down the announcement and look at this type study typographic hierarchy um, take a look at this this is probably the best visual lecture I've ever seen on hierarchy on establishing hierarchy shows you exactly how to separate things to group things to add different weights to add different scale and in this case add color and placement along with alignment to establish your hierarchy so that's a really great Resource there. So I want you to take a look at those resources, review my video critique right here, take a look at it twice if you have to, and go ahead and, and reassemble and, and work towards your final submission. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'll be glad to provide any clarity that might be needed at this point. Okay, great start. Thank you very much, Brandon. And um, again, the most important thing at this point is to uh, make sure that you get with me with any questions at all. All right, great job. Thank you.